This is the story of a unique and terrifying book. You have beasts, the devil at work. Its visions have inspired and scared for 2,000 years. Many see in the pages of the Book of Revelation an uncanny series of predictions, global warming, the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, war in the Middle East. There is no more perfect battleground in the world than this. Some believe the book is a guide to one of the greatest riddles of all, the date for the end of the world. Could the book of Revelation hold such a secret? New evidence has revealed that the key to the mystery of this last book in the Bible lies in the dust of modern-day Turkey and that the infamous number of the beast may not be 666 after all. Fire, the color of gold from heaven to earth shall be seen. Great murder of mankind, great loss of infants. There shall be more grievous wars and battles. Towns, cities, castles and other buildings shall be burnt, desolated and destroyed. Married women and widows ravished, sucking children dashed against the walls of towns. So many evils shall be committed that almost the entire world shall be undone and desolate. The most compelling evidence that the Roman Empire, and especially the imperial cult, was John's target, comes from one of his most frightening visions, a terrifying beast who makes war against God's people. The beast, he writes, demands worship, and this gives the first clue as to what it really represents. Worship of the imperial gods had become extremely popular to the degree that persons who didn't participate may have been perceived as disloyal. In this strange vision, the beast had not one head, but seven. By John's time, seven emperors had ruled the empire. John tells us that these are seven kings or rulers. And though scholars can't agree on which Roman emperors these seven heads may represent, they seem to represent Roman imperial power. John also associates the beast with seven hills. And of course, the city of Rome was known then as it is now as the city of seven hills. Their neighbors were continually celebrating the various gods who were popular in the region, as well as the imperial gods of Rome, and on occasion, even the emperor himself. Symbols of the various deities would be all around them. If John was writing to those Christians who had begun to worship Rome's emperors, it would help explain why the last book of the Bible was written. The visions were less about prophesying the future and more about chastising those who had joined the imperial cult. But there is something left unanswered. The vivid apocalyptic images which have captured the imagination of millions of Christians for centuries. What possible meaning could these visions have had for John's churches? Maybe they had little to do with the cult of the divine emperor and everything to do with the visions of a terrifying future.